What's your reaction to the fact that the Arctic ice is actually increasing? Not doing an interview right now. One last question for you. Are you, em are, are you embarrassed at all? I'm not doing an interview. Are you embarrassed at all by Climate Gate, sir? I'm not doing an interview right now. I'm having lunch. Do you stand to make any money from cap and trade? Hey gang, Dr. Steve here, your Patriot Professor, and we're going to look at Chessy Waters utterly humiliating Al Gore by exposing him as a climate alarmist fraud. So if you haven't already done so, make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Also, make sure to click on the link below and visit our good friends over at Gold Co. There's never been a better time to invest in the timeless value of gold and silver than right now. And if you've got $50,000 or more in your savings, Gold Co. is where it's at. They want you to succeed so much they're going to give you up to ten thousand dollars in free silver when you open an account they're one of us gang they're patriots but this is a limited time offer so don't wait click on that link below or go to turleytalkslikesgold.com and let's weather this economic storm together all right let's dive right in here take it away jesse al gore is back like a bad fashion trend we thought we'd stuffed him back in the closet you know with the mothballs but since Biden's in quarantine, the networks booked Al Gore this weekend. The most boring politician of all time took a victory lap to say that he was right all along. He told you it'd be hot in the summer. Well, the scientists have predicted these uh, extraordinary and catastrophic uh, events for going on decades now. And the fact that they were dead right, maybe a little conservative even uh, in their projections, should cause us to pay more careful attention to what they're warning us about now. Now, I've just got to stop right there because, I mean, frankly, I'm finding myself just dozing off listening to, to the, you know how you can tell the difference between Al Gore and a room full of corpses, right? Al Gore is the stiff one. <laughs> yeah, right. Al Gore is so boring, his Secret Service code name is Al Gore. <laughs> I mean, this guy, there's a reason this guy disappeared from politics. He's as arrogant, he's as condescending and embarrassingly dull as they come. And where the heck is this guy speaking from? The planet Plu Plu? I mean, what, <laughs> what kind of bizarre outer world background is that? Well, let's see what Jesse does with this. And if you don't believe Al Gore, Al Gore has a message for you. You know, the climate deniers uh, uh, are really in some ways similar to all of those uh, almost 400 law enforcement officers in Uvalde, Texas, who were waiting outside an unlocked door uh, while the children were being massacred. They heard the screams, they heard the gunshots, and uh, nobody stepped forward. Jesse Waters' prime time has a rule of thumb. We don't make analogies and compare anything to slavery, the Holocaust, 9-11, or school shootings. It served us well so far. But Al Gore, the climate shock jock, will say anything for money and attention. Al Gore, the climate shock jock. That's brilliant. What Gore did just there was utterly, I mean, utterly reprehensible. What is it with these Democrats and their guttural level of deranged sickness that they're constantly willing to stoop to? I think Tom Elliott said it best. That was probably the most disgusting talking point literally ever and you'll note he said it on meet the depressed on sunday morning and you'll note that chuck todd the host did nothing absolutely nothing when he gave that analogy because radical left wingers stick together i mean that's the code man right woke leftists stick together and they have no choice lest they be tarred and feathered by the woke mob right were they to defect and gore makes money like a stick-up artist he tells the american people give me all your cash or you're gonna die and the climate business pays big bucks. He's worth something like $300 million. He's got a $2.5 million house in Nashville with a $30,000 utility bill. And he just bought a $9 million villa on the ocean in California. Better be high up, Al, because the rising sea levels might flood the foyer. Now that was a bullseye. I mean, that was so good. Al Gore is a charlatan. And we know that based on at least two lines of reasoning here. First and foremost, he consistently uses emotional blackmail to make millions. Do this or a catastrophe awaits you, right? 
The left does this all the time. It's technically known as consequentialism. It's a form of manipulation that's actually a logical fallacy known as ad baculum or an appeal to force. Do this or else something bad is going to happen to you. So that's the first line of reasoning. Al Gore consistently engages in fallacious and morally insidious emotional blackmail. And then secondly, look at where he lives. <laughs> this is right by the ocean. And it's a property that consumes elect more electricity in a year than the average family uses in 21 years. And he's not alone. John Kerry, Barack Obama, Melinda Gates, and a whole slew of climate alarmists live quite comfortably, literally yards from the oceans they've been claiming are calamitously rising. Just like any grifter, he's always looking for an easy payday. In the middle of the George Floyd protests, while companies were making money off racism, Al Gore found a way to connect climate change to racism, saying the need for climate action is bound together with the struggle for racial equality and liberation. I mean, even Greta Thunberg thought that was a little too slick. That's right. How dare you? How dare you, Al? Again, Jesse is hitting the nail on the head here. Climate alarmism is actually a part of the incessant victimization worldview that is cultural Marxism. Cultural Marxism reimagines the world as made up of two classes of people, the oppressed and the oppressor. And the oppressor, of course, is a system rooted in racism and patriarchy. And that oppressive force doesn't just victimize people, it victimizes the planet as well. So this is all part of the same system, as it were, the same cultural Marxist worldview. And so if you're all in on the supposedly systemic evils of racism and patriarchy, then you have to go all in with climate alarmism, since the planet has every been an object of oppression as our persons. Joe Manchin kills the Green New Deal. Al Gore just shows up with a deal of his own. The former vice president just launched a new $1.7 billion investment fund. It only invests in green companies. And Gore takes 20% before you see any of your profits. But at least you feel good about yourself. Al Gore is like a climate priest. You pay a percent to the church to save your soul. But has Al Gore convinced you that he's right about the weather? Because Gore keeps saying it's hotter than ever, but how did we even measure the Earth's temperature over 100 years ago. Dennis Miller has a great line about, I think, what? 100 years ago, we didn't have indoor plumbing. You trust those guys to take the temperature of the entire Earth? I mean, if things are hotter today, it's about to start cooling down because birth rates are falling all over the world. I've seen some predictions that say global population is going to be cut in half. We're deindustrializing, we're deglobalizing, and we're not having as many babies as we used to. That right there should cut global emissions big time. No more global warming, right? The world kind of has a way of healing itself, doesn't it? And America is doing a pretty good job of reducing emissions with natural gas. So if Gore was really concerned about emissions reductions, he'd be pushing for fracking, right? Or for nuclear. But he's not. Gore is a snob who thinks he knows better and wants to feel self-righteous, and he needs your money to do it. Now, that was just great. It was a great unmasking of a climate alarmist charlatan, Al Gore, who is literally nothing more than a living fraud. Now, before you go, you will definitely want to check out my latest video I just uploaded on the most amazing thing Jordan Peterson ever said. It's going to blow your mind. You're not going to want to miss it. So make sure to click on that link, and I will see you over there. God bless.